Hi folks, welcome to a quick video today uh, on Luthier's Lair. Uh, I'm going to do a little unboxing. Yes, I came across a sale online from the uh, Love Them or Hate Them company, Stuart MacDonald, Luthier Suppliers. Some of this stuff's very good, I must say. But it was neck blanks. They were selling neck blanks at an astonishing price. Uh, Honduran mahogany, I believe, is what I bought. But I'm going to see. Let's go and unbox the stuff. And I'll give you an honest opinion, okay? Here we go. So it's uh, usually nicely packaged. Stuff I get from the school bag. Ah, uh, well yeah, I'm gonna have to, this doesn't open laterally, it opens lengthwise, so let me uh, open it this way. Okay, alright, I'm gonna have to come out of the shot here, maybe, oh maybe not, no, oh, wow they're thick, wow, okay. Oh, cotter sawn as well, lovely. Now I picked up two. And uh, let's get this box out of the way now. Let's take this off, you're not needing to see that. <laughs> yeah. It is indeed. And the packing slip says Triple uh, A Honduran ma mahogany neck blanks. 1 inch by 3 inches by 36 inches. Now for uh, reference, I have my um, Gatsby's Falcon Series 2 Deluxe model neck that I've been working on. And you see there's plenty of material there to work with. Ah, even if I put it down here, uh, 24 fret neck. So there's plenty of room there for head stockage, stuff like that. Head stockage, yeah, that's a new one. Come on, Ed, come on, come on. Oh, sorry, don't do that. Don't do that away. So let's see what we got here. Yep, very rough. Hasn't been sanded to any degree. It's just been, you can tell it's just been quarter sawn and left. I do believe the wood has been seasoned. And let's see how uh, let's see how flat this is. Excuse me. Yes. Let's get out my big, huge, straight edge. Let's see. Ugh. That is damn near flat. Very slight. Oh, not much at all, though. I can reveal how much these were. African mahogany, I mean Honduran mahogany is, is uh, fantastic wood to work with. Um, let me see this one. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's straight. The blanks are straight. And, uh, you know, but uh, not, it's an unremarkable grain, but finishing this wood, you get a beautiful sheen on it. It looks like it's been kind of stained or something. I'm going to have to, let me sand a bit of this and see what's going on. Just a quick sand, just 80 grit, quick. like it's been filled already so it's obviously been seasoned because then they wouldn't fill it you know and actually you see the side there and I can see in the light here little crystals of filler so it has been filled that's excellent 
That's very good. I'm going to have to sand and carve and sand anyway, but that's good. One inch thick. Wowee. One inch. I'm used to working with uh, three quarters neck blanks, so that's a lot of material to take off. But that's, that's no worries in that. Uh, the build I'm going to do with these is probably going to require that sort of thickness and then build it up. And you'll, you'll see why in a little while. So, unremarkable grain, that's fine. It takes the stain very well uh, when I'm doing mahogany. Nice blanks. And, yeah, they're extremely flat. That's the first primary concern. And fairly light wood. It's lighter than, say, maple, very slightly. Tight grain. <coughs> so when I do have to refill it again, it's not going to be that bad. Maybe a couple of coats of grain filler. And we'll be, we'll be cool from that. That's a bargain. And I will, uh, I think I can disclose how much these were each. They were, uh, I believe, $14 each on sale, uh, stock clearance. So, awesome. Really quite happy with that. You know, what sort of fingerboard to put on it? Mm. You'll see what I've got planned coming up for these anyway. Um, I can't really reveal anything right now because I'm in the finalisation of uh, design for this. I can show you uh, that I was working on a piezo uh, preamp, um, a prototype design for a piezo preamp that I'm working on right now. And I just got to solder this up and uh, plug it in and see if it works. And that's that. The schematic for it is right there. So, um, yeah, onwards and upwards. I'm quite happy with these. Uh, I've actually never used Honduran mahogany uh, for a neck. So I'll be very interested to work this through and see what sort of neck I can come up with, how stable it is, all that stuff. You know, just work it right through, see what it looks like. But that's quite good. I mean, even though it doesn't make a good neck, I've got spare pieces of mahogany for other things, you know. As you can see, oak, oak looks uh, slightly different, doesn't it? Oak has that much more spectacular grain to it. Also, it's a, 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 right, a right bugger to fill, but, you know, when you, when you fill it, you're fine. And uh, the frets here for this neck. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Short unboxing of a, kind of a bargain I picked up, and we'll see, um, we'll see how it goes. So, till next time, take care. Be good, and thanks for watching. Cheers, folks. Bye-bye.